Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Please do not get used to just hearing me say that. If you want to do, you know, some deep spiritual work to really help get your life ignited, um, more often than not, I get clients in who are very stuck in a surface level situation. And some people will come back over and over and over again, still stuck on that situation. Now, be ready for that, okay? So that's a part of being human, but we also go way deeper than that. And it's very disheartening to me when I see a client, um, you know, whether, because they're done via email, right? So I, I do a whole voice recording, you know, <laughs> do a little voice MP3, and I send it to you so there's no time commitment on your part. And it gives me some flexibility too. So when I'm really feeling the message hit, I could just turn on the microphone and go. Um, but it's so disheartening when I hear someone's response after a personal reading where it's like, I was really hoping, you know, you had more advice on what to do with this love partner I have. Or um, I, I still don't understand what you're trying to say. They're so stuck in the surface level thing that they can't take in the very thing that's going to help them move past it, <laughs> right? So if you're going to get a personal reading with me, yes, we will definitely be handling, you know, something that we start on the surface, but it's going to go a lot deeper. And hopefully it gives you something to work with. That's the idea of these readings. They're not there to solve your problems. They're there to break things open so you can solve your problems, okay? Uh, to go off and have a good jumping off point and to maybe remedy some very very deep patterns so that your life can be more open you feel me okay anyway lives we have one on soul codes coming up make sure that you get your tickets i have lots of other lives coming up check the description box that's where the links will always be okay awesome so let's get into it here do 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 do, do. what was that song i don't I don't know. Anyway, prioritize Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So prioritize that deeper spiritual awakening. Prioritize your spiritual practice. And if we go into a spiritual practice just to get something, that's not learning your lesson. Now, I'm not saying that you can't, you know, go into a spiritual practice and, you know, focus on your health. It's like, it's like I'm only going to work out so I look good. You know the type. Okay, <laughs> instead of I'm going to work out so my joints stay healthy and my bones are healthy and my muscles and everything's good. My blood pressure stays down. I get some peace <laughs> from exercising. Again, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but when people do, I, I, well, I was going down the road of um, people doing spiritual practice just to get something. That is surface level energy manipulation. People do it. Sure, okay, but um, if you can come, if you can bring yourself into that deeper soul self and really learn your soul's contract, really learn um, what you're doing, right? It's not even about, okay, just give me the information. It's like, um, okay, you want to get some clothes on first? Because maybe work on that first before you worry about, you know, some information coming at you. It's that sort of thing, you know what I mean? So being aware. Waking up and realizing, okay, this is what's in front of me now. I got to take care of this. But then when you're in that deeper soul self and you have a, a deeper understanding of why your life is the way it is, why maybe you don't have money coming in. Is it about uh, self-worth? Are you putting a negative energy into your work, right? Uh, people who don't like their work environment. I, I told you guys, the last corporation I worked in, I was probably one of the lowest paid people there in my position, <laughs> which is funny because I worked for two of the CEOs, but I was the lowest paid person. Um, and uh, I hated it. <laughs> I hated so many things about that place. It was just, uh, it was a trip. It was a trip. It, it'll make for great stories when I'm 80. But um, but anyway, every day I would kind of come in. I was trying to pep myself up, but uh, it was a very abusive environment. And so it was hard to <laughs> stay on the up and up. Never got a race. <laughs> Never. Well, I got my little, I think there was like a standard um, 3% raise or something like that, but never got bumped up to the level that other people in my position were making. And uh, I realized it's like, well, in a weird way, and this is just off the top of my head, 
Imagine if you did a deeper soul kind of uh, growth moment and really put some understanding behind this. But in a way, I was self-sabotaging more money coming in. Why? Because I wanted the heck out of there. And if they had given me more money, then I would have been trapped by the money. And I would have been like, oh gosh, I can't really leave this behind. The benefits are too good. The pay is too good. And I would have stayed putting up with the insanity obsession y'all don't even know maybe you know did I tell you some of the story obsession with someone I barely knew uh what was uh, just abuse I mean just a lot of abuse um there was someone from the parent company coming in uh, it involved assault and stalking uh yeah grooming brainwashing, Stockholm syndrome. It's a thing. It's, I, it's a whole soap opera, y'all. But if, <laughs> if I got more money because I come from, you know, a place where I always thought it was hard to make money. Once I got it, I would have probably put up with anything just for the sense of stability, financial stability to finally be there in my life. So sometimes, you know, when we're going back to, you know, manifesting money. So let's go back to that. And I do have a meditation that I already recorded. I just got to edit it and get it loaded. Those take a little bit of time to do. But when you're in that soul level understanding, you're like, okay, this is why I'm not getting the money. You see the bigger thing? I need to leave this situation. Or if you go into, you know, a deep meditation, you're like, the only thing that's restricting me is my belief about money. It gives you the idea of what you need to shift. Then you can light your little candle that's anointed with you know cinnamon and cloves and rosemary and all that and do your affirmations now you're ready you feel me okay that was a long way around uh i love you thank you for being here thanks for <laughs> listening uh make sure you're subscribed all that stuff anyway i love you take care Bye bye